What's going on guys, this is the Red Rogue and today we'll be talking about adding to that ever growing pile of mounts that you probably only use like 10 of. That's right, we'll be taking a look at all of the rare mounts that were added to the Dark Shore Zone during Battle for Azeroth. So what are we waiting for? Let's see if we can get ourselves some mounts that we'll probably use exactly one time just to see their mount special animation, and then stuff them in our endless pockets so we can collect even more mounts. So, mount collecting, one of my favorite pastimes in WoW. I've been on a bit more of a collecting kick than usual, as I'm only like 10 mounts away from my 350 mount achievement, so I've been starting to farm the Dark Shore rares much more often than I used to. There are 5 different mounts you can earn here, however most can only be earned when your faction has control of the Warfront. This in turn means it would be a very good idea to get these prior to the end of Battle for Azeroth, as it will probably take a lot longer for the Warfronts to swap between factions unless they manually scale the turnover rate, but I find that pretty unlikely, so yeah, let's get to it. I know most of you probably already know where Darkshore is, but for those who are new to the game or maybe just need a refresher, Darkshore is part of the continent of Kalimdor. To get there is pretty easy, as there is a series of portals that will take you to all the Cataclysm expansion zones. One of them is Hyjal. And Hyjal is literally a hop, skip, and a jump away from Darkshore, so if you're Alliance or Horde, you can just take your portal to Hyjal and boom, you'll be there in like no time flat, since Hyjal is directly east of Darkshore. Most of these mounts have a pretty lowish drop rate of around 5%, with the exception of the Frightened Kodo. That is a guaranteed mount, if you can find him that is. We'll go over him in a bit. The five mounts you can earn here are the Umber Night Saber slash Captured Umber Night Saber, the Ashenvale Chimera, the Frightened Kodo, Black Paw, and the Kaldurai Night Saber. Of the five mounts from Darkshore, these first three will be ones that require your faction to be in control of the Warfront to have a chance to loot them from the rares. Hence why I recommend getting these out of the way while you can. And all of these should be pretty soloable at this point as most of them have like less than 500,000 health with the exception of one mount. Also, you only get one attempt per character per Warfront cycle, so if you don't get any of these rare drops on your first kill with that character, you'll have to wait for the war effort to swap sides and then back to your side for another chance at them. The only one I'm not 100% sure on that is the Chimera, as it can technically be looted by either side regardless of who's in control of the Warfront. Our first mount is Blackpaw. Blackpaw is a nice higher resolution bear model that drops from the rare Blackpaw if you're Horde. He spawns just south of Lordanel. If you're Alliance, however, the rare you'll need to defeat is Agatha Wormwood, who is in the exact same spot as Blackpaw. Thankfully for this one, they decided not to split the spawn point between factions, unlike our next mount on the list. The Umber Nightsaber slash Captured Umber Nightsaber, depending on which faction you're on. For the Horde to have a chance at this drop, you'll need to find the rare Athel Dewfire, whom spawns to the west of the Grove of the Ancients. For Alliance, you'll be searching for Moxo the Beheader, whom has a captured Umber Nightsaber on his loot table. He's located to the northeast of Ruins of Mathistra. This is another of the high resolution revamps of a classic model, and in this case it's a Nightsaber, and it does look pretty frickin' awesome. The last faction specific mount is the Kaldurai Nightsaber. For the Horde, this mount will drop from Shadowclaw, whom is located to the north of the ruins of Aberdeen, and it's pretty close to the coastline. For the Alliance to have a shot at this mount, you'll need to instead kill Kra's Blood Rage. He's located northeast of Bashal Aran by this tree where he'll be found field stripping an elk down. This next mount can be earned by either faction regardless of the stage of the Warfront, the Ashenvale Chimera. This mount drops from Alashanir, a Chimera sitting at the top of this cliffside right over here. This is technically the toughest of the bunch in terms of soloing on any low level alts you might have, so you might have a bit of trouble with this one if you're pretty low item level, like under 390 low. Or if you're a Shadow Priest, maybe. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, geez, tough crowd. And the last mount of our list is definitely the hardest to get, as it is by far the rarest one of the bunch, the Frightened Kodo. I did a video on using Clash Trials to get mounts a little while back, and this one is a perfect example of where Clash Trials become super OP. To earn the Frightened Kodo, you simply have to find him running around in Darkshore and click on him to make him chill out. And that's it, boop, free mount. Even on a 110 Clash Trial, you can do this. So I'd personally recommend slapping a few Clash Trials in Darkshore until you get this one. 
Better yet, put them on various low population slash new player realms or RP realms and you'll have even higher chances of getting it. I also have a macro for doing a warning pop-up thing when he's in your general area, so I'll leave it in a comment below. Basically, you'll just spam this macro while flying around this lower section of Darkshore and hope that he's active. His spawn timer is pretty lengthy and random, as it's apparently anywhere from 1 to 8 hours. If possible, you want to look for him right as soon as server reset occurs, and you can check for him in both war mode and non-war mode for even more chances at getting it. He does not show up as a star on your map like most rares, so you will need that macro or just be watching very carefully, and apparently he runs around quite a lot, so you might just want to comb over the entire southern section of Darkshore just in case. I got really lucky with mine and found him pretty much right at one of his spawn points. I always like seeing revamped versions of classic mounts, and I like it even more when they come out looking good. Overall, these are all pretty awesome mounts for being as simple as they are. My favorite is probably Blackpaw, though the Night Sabers are both pretty nice too. I generally just like the newer bear models because the old ones look kinda silly at this point. At least the old Night Sabers kinda have that classic look to them, but the old bears are just... I don't know, something just doesn't look right about them sometimes. The Chimera I can live without, but... That's mainly because it's just a reskinned Rylac and it's not technically a Chimera. However, I really want my extra mounts so I can hit 350, so I'll take what I can get at this point. What's your favorite mount from Darkshore? Or better yet, what's the one that took you the longest to get if you've already managed to nab all of these for your menagerie? Let me know in the comments below. Also, I just wanted to say I sincerely appreciate all of you for taking the time to check out the channel, and I hope you liked the video. Thank you all so much for watching, this is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.